at home. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to change your furnace filter. Uh, the basic concept is relatively the same through most models of furnace. Uh, at Eagle Bit Homes, we use a train, XR95. We just feel it's a very efficient unit, uh, saves you a bunch of money heating and cooling your homes. So we're gonna go ahead and just make sure that the power is off. There's three different ways we can do this. Number one, you can turn it off at the breaker. Number two, you can turn it off at the thermostat. Or number three, my favorite way, there's a pressure plate behind the top door. And we can just pull that off and it stops right there. Okay, so up here on top of the unit, uh, most of our models are relatively the same concept. Uh, we're gonna slide this door open like that. I just like to set it back here. And we're gonna pull the filter out. Okay, now we're gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison with the two filters. As you can see, this one right here is clogged. This is about 30 days old. This one right here is brand new and it's perfectly clean. With these one inch filters, I recommend that you change them every 30 days. Uh, the more you spend on a filter, if you buy like the three inch ones, those are probably good up to about 90 days. Okay, so I have the new filter here. Uh, one thing that's important to remember is there is an arrow on the filter that says which direction the airflow is. And on this particular model, airflow is coming in through the top. So when I put this in, I'm gonna slide it in just like that. And then I'm going to replace the cover and then put the panel back on. We should be up and running. We're gonna put this cover back on, just like that, and we're back up and running. Thanks for watching, guys.